Good morning, and welcome to Daylight with Dean number 206, and that would be on November 8th, 2020. Again, I'm coming on a little late, so I'm filming with the uh, sitting nice and tall to block the sun from <laughs> coming into direct contact with the camera. The sound sounds well, so there we go. You may be thinking, Dean, you've worn that Steeler jersey like three days this week. I've worn it just about every day this week. I, it was given to me on Sunday, so I wore it some during the Steeler game. I wore it Monday to celebrate. I wore it um, Friday to film, and I'm wearing it Sunday again, so four out of the past eight days. It's a great shirt. <laughs> All right, let's enjoy our coffee together. This is indeed my first sip. That's good stuff. That is good stuff. So... This is so funny with the sun shining directly in. Uh, well, I got about eight minutes before our 8 a.m. church service starts online, so I want to make sure everybody's free for that. So this is going to be a nice, abbreviated daylight, but you'll catch all the sunlight, so happy that hopefully that will make up for the lack of time we have together. So uh, the one thing I did not plan on yesterday when I was going over the plans for the day is after the funeral, um, when I got home, I thought I was going to jump right into the things that my wife wanted me to do, except for the fact that I forgot I had to watch my sermon and make sure the uh, uh, main points were where they needed to be. And, um, and when I preached it, my main points were not as clear they were not as clearly stated as I wanted them to be. So I kind of reworked my outline and drew out my main points. And then at the video, um, at each point where I was making those comments, I had the person editing put those uh, main points in the message. And it, it took a couple hours to go through all that. <laughs> so... Uh, by about 3.30, I was free and started working uh, on our back porch, worked on getting our side porch cleared out, set up, ready to go for the wintertime with some of the stuff moved around. And, and then um, it was time to go grocery shopping. So at, uh, it was actually 5 o'clock, we went grocery shopping. Yeah, 5 o'clock, a little after 5. And I was told we needed to go Aldi's at the mill, Walmart and Sam's Club because each place had specific things. So at each place, we spent less money. Who would ever thought you'd spend less money at Sam's Club than at Aldi's? But we hadn't shopped at Aldi's in like a month. So we had we had a lot of catching up to do. Flour and just a whole bunch of stuff. So the one thing Sam's Club had that I was so excited about is raw oysters. Oysters in a container. This is the time of year for oysters, and down south, they're really big. Uh, and I grew up with the oyster casserole and oyster stew at my grandmother's, and so I enjoy making oyster casserole. And uh, I found them at Sam's Club last year, and it worked really well until January when the oysters were all gone, and they didn't carry them again until now. And so I'm so excited. So I bought two things of oysters. And we're heading home and I need salting crackers and whole milk. And we didn't have either of those. So I uh, called Leslie. I called Ruby. Sorry. How do you like my lean? <laughs> Let's try to get that a little better so I don't look so goofy. I'm sitting up straight. My mom would be proud. Um, I called Leslie and no, I called Emma Ruby. 
And she said, we're out of saltine. So I told Leslie, we got to stop at Golden Dawn. And she's like, really? I'm like, yes. We stopped at the three stores you said. We're almost home. We got to stop at Golden Dawn and pick up saltine crackers and whole milk. And we did that. Came home, made my oyster casserole, and it was delightful. <laughs> when I got home, she was so exhausted. She's like, you're going to have to unload all the groceries. I said, fine, I'll bring them all into the car but you get to put them away in the refrigerator because you know where and how you want them. So she did that. So I was carrying boxes in on my neighbor. Uh, my two neighbors were outside. So I said hi to both of them. And then my one neighbor was walking to her house and she started saying something to me. So I couldn't hear what she was saying. So I walked over and she goes, I have something for you. And I'm like, you have something for me? She goes, yes, I bought you something, something for you and Leslie, but mostly for you. And I'm like, okay. So I went over into her house, and this is my neighbor that loves to harass me all the time. So I walked into their side door, which goes into their kitchen, and he's sitting there at the table, and he's looking at me like, what are you doing in my house? <laughs> I said, great to see you as well. Um, and so then she came out with this. Uh, she found this Lazy Susan and this... Um, uh, circular piece of wood and she wanted me to do make these things with the wood that was in my front yard with the tree stump that was in my front yard um, but I didn't and she saw that and it made me made her think of me and so she bought me that so I got this beautiful uh, dark wood hardwood lazy Susan and um, when I was leaving uh, her husband looked at me and invited me over for coffee this morning at eight o'clock as well. So <laughs> he, he, he must not mind me too bad if he invited me for coffee. So, well, guys, I'm going to head out uh, to my neighbor to, to uh, enjoy coffee with him to start my watch party on Facebook. And I hope that you catch the service this morning. Remember, if you're free at 1130 today, come on out to the river. We're going to be taking down the big tent. Need about 25 people to give us a hand. So no one's doing too much heavy lifting. And I hope that you can come and we can see you then. All right, God bless. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity to sit up straight and block the sun with my bald head. Thank you for your goodness, your love, your faithfulness, your trustworthiness. Thank you that we get to focus on you today in worship. And now, Lord, I pray that each of us would sense your love and your grace and experience peace and joy in and through you. And Lord, may our hearts and our faith be soft and open towards you in every way. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, God bless you, everybody. We will see you tomorrow morning. It will be a little darker outside tomorrow morning. Have a great Sunday. Go Steelers! <laughs>